Hi, I'm John Scholes, President and CEO of the Downtown Seattle Association, and I want to welcome you to today's City Maker Conversation, coming to you from the produce section of Owajimaya Grocery Store in the International District, and I'm really pleased to be joined today by Denise Moriguchi, the CEO of Owajimaya. So, people are familiar generally with the grocery store here in the International District, but the company's evolved quite a bit in the last several years, and you've gone through quite a bit period of growth. Maybe talk to us about some of those new investments, uh, both in housing and then the grocery store sure. uh, in South Lake Union. Sure. So in addition to the Seattle store, we have a store in Bellevue, Renton, and Beaverton, Oregon. And last year, we also launched a new urban concept called Kai Market. It's a smaller, almost convenience store format. Mm -hmm. And uh, also last that's the one, year... That's in South Lake Union, Yes, right? so in yeah. South Lake Union. Yeah. Um, and also, a little over a year ago, we opened the Publix, which is 120 apartment units with ground-level retail in the International District, just right across the street. So you're the third generation of the family leading the company, and I think coming up on two years or so in, in your role right. in February. Yeah. What's unique about running a family business uh, with the history that uh, this company's had in, in this community going back, what, 90 plus years? Yeah, well, being the third generation, following in the footsteps of my grandfather and then my father and aunts and uncles, it's. You know, really an honor to be able to take over the company. You know, I feel they did a lot of the hard work in really establishing the relationships in the community and establishing our customers. And um, so I feel fortunate to be in that mm -hmm. role. And I know you come from a brand background, and I was interested in what you said in a Seattle Times article uh, when you first took the role about uh, really being thoughtful about the brand of the company going forward and what you want people to think about Wajamaya. Right. And, so what should, what do you want people to think when they hear Wajamaya? I want people to think that it's the best place to do their grocery shopping. Um, but you know, one thing that I, I work on every day is that we have this 90 year history and legacy and we have these traditions that we want to honor. At the same time, I want to continue modernizing and growing the company and, and brand. And so finding that right balance mm -hmm. of um, the old and the new and, and still growing. In this fast-growing city and neighborhood and, and community, exactly, and, yeah. And people, are, the way they shop, the way they eat is changing every day, yeah. and um, the people who live here are changing every day. And so, just making sure that we're meeting our customer needs while also honoring our, our past. What do you see as one of the bigger challenges facing the the company today? Challenges and opportunities. Yeah, challenges and opportunities. Well, I think the fact that new people are moving here every day is mm -hmm. a great challenge and opportunity. Some people have never heard of us and so we have to reach out and get them to know who we are and share our, our history with them and why we're special. Um, I think another thing, doing business in Seattle is it's hard to find um, all the people we need and our wages, um, you know, it's great that our wages are rising but it makes it difficult and so we just need to keep figuring out how we adapt our business to the changing um, Seattle economy. Yeah, and relative to the, the regulatory market and business regulations here in the city. You were really outspoken several months ago when City Council proposed and passed the tax on jobs. Yeah. Why did you do that and, and, and what was your thinking uh, going into being a pretty outspoken critic of that proposal? Well, actually, I have to thank the DSA. I was pretty head deep in just running the day-to-day -day business, and I started to you know, hear a little bit more about it, and I was getting some emails from the DSA with facts and, and information and also opportunities to go to different sessions with um, some different council members, mm -hmm. and I, I got to learn a lot more, and really my eyes were opened into what was going on, and I felt that I really had to stand up um, for Wajamaya, but also for the Seattle business community mm -hmm. to really say, I, you know, I didn't agree and I thought that more thought needed to be um, put into the, the head tax before it went through. And that's certainly not the only way that the company and you have been involved in the community in the political space but you've been involved in in other ways. I think that our community philosophy really goes back to my grandfather. He felt you know, your customers, your employees, they're all part of your community so if you have a healthy community, you have healthy business, you have a healthy um, city, all that, you know, is, is one and the same. And so he was a really strong advocate to be involved with the community. Um, that passed down to my father and his brothers and sisters and has been passed down to my generation. Mm -hmm. So we just see it's our obligation, it's our commitment to be part of the community and give back. And, and when you give back, you also get in return. And so it's just one big circle and um, just, you know, supporting everyone to make sure that the city, city does well. Mm -hmm. As you come up on your two-year 
anniversary in this role, what's been the biggest surprise over the last, what, 16 or so yeah. months? You know, one really great surprise has been just how supportive and um, how much the community supports Wajamaya and how much we also are a fabric of this community. You know, I think growing up it's just been business and I just think, mm -hmm. okay, family runs a grocery store, but stepping into this role I've seen how we can um, help and how we can play a part and how, so also how um, the community members and customers all support um, Wajamaya. So that's been a really nice um, learning. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you for spending some time with us today and thank you for uh, speaking out too on behalf of the business community well, in Seattle you. and downtown and for your and the company's contributions in the community and involvement with uh, DSA. And right. thank you for joining us for today's CityMaker Conversation.